Why, hello again. I'm so happy you are back with me. Let's do a nose tutorial. This is beautiful Miko. Let's get started. Boop. Using an HB mechanical pencil, I usually start off blocking off the darks. Start by the inside of the nostril and work your way out. Here is the reference photo for you because I care. Now there's a lot of shadow on the right side of Miko's nose, so I'm adding my first layer of darks. There's a slight reflection on the underside of the nose, so I won't make that part as dark. If you need to catch up, please pause the video. Now if you're still with me, you have the attention span of a true artist, so thank you. I'm also offering a free giveaway, so stay tuned for that. Next step, I'm going to start creating the cool little textures on Miko's nose. But first, let's fill in the other side of the nostril with darkest of darks. Make sure you capture that dark edge of that part of the nose. Look at your reference photo, guys. And don't forget to leave that highlight where this arrow is pointing. I hope you guys are still with me. My dog Bella is watching you. Okay, now to the fun part. Looking at the reference, you can see that there are these bump patterns on the nose. They are just so cute, you just have to render them all, don't you? So my technique is I create random circular shapes just like this. Doesn't have to be perfect or look exactly like the photo. Just do your best. That's all I can ask. Your best. And sometimes I just even close my eyes and see what happy accidents happen. But don't cry if you make a mistake. You can fix it. So looking at my reference photo, I see there's darker areas where I need to fill in more layers. Like this. So I think now's a good time to pause the video to catch up. Bella and I will wait for you. Alright, nap time over. Are you guys ready for this? This is real time drawing right now. The key to hyper realism is capturing all the different textures. With Miko's nose, I'm randomly creating circular patterns. And sometimes I'm dotting the surface with short dashes, short strokes. Make it unpredictable. Have fun with it. I see that the top of the nose has a darker texture, so I'm just filling those in. I'm making sure I'm looking at the reference photo, and I see that the corner of the nose there has a somewhat distinct outline, so I'm slowly dabbing those in with my reliable Pentel Orange mechanical pencil that I use for detailing. Now you can find links to all my materials and tools in the description box. Are you guys still with me? Are you bored yet? I hope not. I tell this to all my art students. Patience is key for great art. So don't give up on me, okay? Keep watching. I'm slowly, slowly capturing this base layer and making sure that I leave that highlight at the top corner of the nose. That's very important to create that form. I'm going around the nose, dotting and dabbing and making cool little textures to capture that form. It doesn't have to be perfect, guys, so run with it. And if you want more real-time videos of my drawing process, please become a patron. The link is provided smack right there. Now for that highlight, I'm just softly placing little tiny marks on that surface. And voila, the first layer is done. Okay, I think you guys need a break. I hear some of you snoozing over there. Now is a good time to tell you about my giveaway. I know a lot of my followers on TikTok are having a hard time with this pandemic and quarantine. So I'm giving away nine cool coloring book pages for free. Now, if you don't like coloring, I think you should start. It's very relaxing and it definitely calms my nerves when I color. Check it out. Link is in the description below. 
Alrighty, let's get back to fun. In this next part of the tuto, I am creating a second layer of darks. Using my 6B pencil, I'm outlining and making circles around the highlights as you see here. Adding the second layer of darks will make that pattern really pop out. Now I'm being more deliberate on where I add these shadows, but also take some risks and randomize it. I won't be mad if you make a mistake. Next step, using my 6B pencil, I'm going to add another layer of darks to the rest of the nose. When I compare my drawing to the reference photo, you can see it's a lot lighter on the right hand side of the nose. So make sure you add another layer of that dark tonal value. Don't be shy about it either. And there you go, you guys made it. Pat yourselves in the back. You have the patience to be a true artist after all. Now, if you like this tutorial, I have more real time art lessons on my Patreon account. As a tier three patron, you can get access to all of my final drawings as well as more coloring book pages. So I hope you support my art journey and let's learn together. See you next time, guys. Stay safe and keep creating your big magic.